going to drive a zoomied up Ripper burnout car. Wear a pair of Raycons. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Raycon. And here's a little life hack for you to start things off. If you like to rip your race car and listen to some music, these things won't fall out of your ears. You can even put a helmet on with them in your ears. And then I can take calls and listen to music while I'm ripping. So you know, when you're really just letting the freedom rip, you can also listen to some freedomatic music, you know, really puts the effect out there for you. Or you can listen to Cleves videos, you know, if you're feeling sporty. Well, it's cool if you wanna hear your music, you put them in noise isolation mode, but if you wanna hear your car ripping, you can put them in awareness mode and it actually lets you hear your surroundings really well. And that's all with the touch of a button. I love the fact that you can make phone calls on them. They're sweat and water resistant. You might leave them in your pocket for a run through the washing machine, they'll be fine. And when you're done using them, you just pop them back into this old case right here. They just pop in there magnetically eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life with the charging case that protects them and charges them back up. And on top of all that, guys, if you walk away from your phone, these things will stay connected up to 33 feet away. I wear these puppies every day in the gym. Guys, Raycon offers buy now, pay later. They also offer two years of product protection insurance for these things and free domestic shipping. No wonder Raycon has over 50,000 five-star reviews. All right, so right now, guys, if you visit buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarland, you get 15% off your Raycons, which they're already a great deal. That additional 15% off makes them the most cost-effective, affordable wireless earbuds on the market. Again, buyraycon.com slash Cleese McFarland. The link is in the description below. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cleese McFarland YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. All right, guys, we had a close call with the turbo giveaway. The first guy who chose the 64, I never pulled his box off, so that we had this one last 64 sitting here. It was claimed, so thankfully no one claimed another 64, because they're all shipped out now. So everyone who's won a turbo so far, your turbos are on the way. This is what we have left, a bunch of 76s, a bunch of 88s. And on the weekends, I haven't been calling people, so we have three people to catch up with. All right, from the 12th, we have David B. from Port Arthur, Texas. Let's give David a call. Please leave your message. All right, David, I'm choosing for you, brother. You are getting a 76. All right, guys, from the 13th, which will be Saturday, we have Austin L. from Taylorville, Illinois. Dude, striking out, dude. This is the worst. All right, Austin, you're getting a 76, too. You guys got to pick up the phone, man. And our last winner for today's video from the 14th, which will be yesterday, we have Alex S. from Medford, New York. Maybe he's too busy making pizza. Your call has been That's three no answers in a row, double phone calls. Listen, guys, I'm calling out here. I don't know if my number, because I've been calling so many people, is just getting spammed out. Who knows? Hello? You called in the nick of time, brother. <laughs> What's up, man? Who is this? It's Austin. Austin, brother. We were about to give you a 76, but your option is a 76 or an 88. Which one do you want? Let's go with an 88. He's going with 88. Yeah, finally, dude. someone picks we'll a party turbo. Back out. We were just about to send it over to get shipped to you, brother. Congratulations on your free turbo oh, yeah. heat. What'd you buy? Uh, I had the, the straw hat and sunglasses. That's a solid deal. Hey, brother, we appreciate you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, guys. You can see, we have Maddie's car here. And then you can see we have a newer version of Maddie's car. This is actually my dad's car. When I bought this Turbo S, which is a 2017 with 20,000 miles, my dad drove it and was like, man, I miss my Turbo S because he had one when I was growing up. So he just found a smoking deal on this 2020. It's the first year of the new body style, which is a 992, and this thing is ridiculous. But anyways, he got a smoking deal on it. It needs some love. He bought it from the auction. It's got some scratches and things that need buffed out on it. It's got like a coffee interior. I don't know what they exactly call it, but it looks amazing. So we're gonna take it to Sam today. Sam's gonna buff it out. I mean, look at that exhaust. Whew, this thing's sweet. <laughs> So excited to drive it this week. What a unit. Bye. Look at all of these buttons. Service necessary, just like mine. <laughs> this shifter. Oh, brother. Fire me up. All right, this thing's definitely quieter than mine, but it doesn't have any mods onto it. Pretty freaking smooth. Definitely rides a little bit nicer. 
But I kind of wanted to beat up unit because I knew I was going to beat up on this one. A little nicer for sure. All right, let's see what she's all about. Holy, spun the tires. Okay. Might be faster than mine. <laughs> I don't know, that is freaking fast for a bone stock vehicle. I'm about 68% sure that this thing is playing exhaust noises through the speakers. It's gotta be. I don't know, unless Porsche did something really cool with the exhaust, it sounds like it's playing through the speakers. I don't know for sure. All right, we'll do a little driveway launch Ruski, see what she's capable of. Uh, you got beat by once, you had to buy your own? Uh, this is uh, Marky Marks, dude. Oh, you got daddy's whip, huh? I got dad's car, yeah. You got you borrowed your dad's car to beat up on your wife? Yeah, I brought my dad's car. Yeah, I should call <laughs> Maddie back out. No, I brought it because this is a uh, auction special. Yeah. So Sam needs a buffet. He needs some love. Yeah. But it's sick. Look at this color. Yeah, I like it. It's really nice. This thing's sweet. Dude, this thing is a rig. Would it be wrong of me to not do a donut in my dad's car real quick? Yeah, you got it. I feel like it'd be wrong of me you to You gotta not. make sure it can do it. I gotta make sure it can do it for him, yeah, you know what I mean? performance check. Yeah. So it's got the aero package, just like mine. Oh, he's been, is he missing a piece of his lip right where mine is too? Or is that supposed to be like that? It's supposed to be like that. Oh, damn. I thought <laughs> he's missing a chunk like <laughs> my car. Oh, this thing is nice. This is a goddamn Autobot, dude. Mr. Sam, you gonna clean this up, brother? I need you to act like it takes you a week to do this job so mm -hmm. we can drive it all week. Okay. Give it back to him Friday or something. Can do that, oh yeah. Yep. It's got a clear bra on the front, but mm -hmm. it's got scratches all over it. Oh yeah. I know you'll handle it, brother. All right, guys, Project Recover the C7 is underway. So this thing, I was driving it, ripping it, raced the sky, started running weird, parked in the garage. Battery died. Parked it to die. <laughs> parked it to die. And it's been sitting here now with the battery dead, so you can't open the doors to pop the hood or anything. So James and I, uh, using your guys' comments, decided we're going to go through with the plan of jacking it up and trying to put a jump box we're on the get, starter wires. There's no mechanical release external to open this. Well, I think there you can put the key behind the license plate. There's a little keyhole. But the key's in the car. Yeah, so that's no bueno. <laughs> and you probably don't have a spare. Lots of spare. Yeah. About a month into owning a car in yeah. 2015, so. So, here we are. All right, I'll get the jack. <laughs> The only jack we own that is low enough to go under the C7. Oh, careful, dude. Watch the pain. She's a tight. Come on. She's a tight. Dude. Roll it back this way. Oh, my. This guy's treating this thing like it's just a beater. James has totaled my skirt, dude. Don't go too far, are they? No, no, I'm just going to work. I'm going to Need it up to see. All right, just like that, dude. We got power to this thing. Got the door popped. Too easy. There we go, there dude. Go. We're dialed. We're on the batch right now. Yeah, yeah let's good. officially put a battery in this after this. All right, I got the jump box on there. You see if it'll start. If not, we might have to double box it. Double jump box, Ruski? Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh my. 
might be kind of shot in it. It got pretty hot in the last drive. We're gonna go to the shop. Do oil change, battery change. Make it back to brand new. Alright guys, cars made it back from Indy. Jack stand, uh, what's going on here, dude? What happened? A little wall tap? They're just giving a little graceful touch for the people. Yeah. We yeah. need to get this in the body shop or I at least yank that right out and, and recolor it. I think we have a problem with our burnout cars getting worse and worse every single event and we never make them look better. So they end up like white trash. Yeah. So I'm hoping for Bristol we can get all our cars back to Church. Church, 90%. Yeah. They don't have to be Church, perfect, yeah. but like so my wing is gone now. You're, you're, Let's uh, fix that. <laughs> you worry about that, boy. We got this. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. All right. So obviously, guys, I hit the wall and toast pretty hard being an idiot. <laughs> Being a total idiot, we blew out the radiator, as you can see, and the front end's pretty twisted. Ty, what are you thinking on this deal? Did you look where the shock towers gonna, are? Yeah, we're gonna have to pull it pretty good. Yeah. Be a high speed shyster pull for sure. Think the shock towers are moved? Did you see this, this one I don't think moved. That one definitely moved. Oh yeah, okay, so you see that angle there, and then that one's straight. Yeah, yeah you might be right. See the initial whack, your frame rail crushed your header tube. Oh wow. And then you see this here. Oh, that's not good. This, this right here. This that wrinkle. I've seen that before. That's an old wrinkle. No, boy, that no, just that's, got re that's, wrinkled. That's fresh. See the crack paint. No yeah. bueno, dude. Well, didn't that I wrinkle that frame rail before? No, it was it was front end. It wasn't uh, into that part. Is there you a wrinkle up here too? Stressed the uh, yeah right here yeah. is all. Yeah. Okay. And then well, you can see where it's stressed, where all the welds tie did. Where it stressed it and cracked all the paint up. That's not the welds, just the paint. <laughs> paint couldn't hang in there. There you go. <laughs> How big of a job do you think this is, Ty? One day, two day, a week? Uh, probably one or two day. Okay. I don't think we have to cut anything. I think we just need to chain it to the ground and yank on just it. Snatch and it. Move it around. Yeah. Well, what are we doing? We're getting fired up. Let's get the forklift, man. <laughs> Come on, push this thing out. The big thing with this too is, is this motor's bolted to motor mounts that are to the K member. Yeah. The K member bolts to the frame rail right there. Yeah. And it has the whole thing shifted over. The reason why we had a trailer from the track to here was because the motor shifted over into the steering shaft. Ah, that's why I couldn't the steer anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's just the if you look oh. down there, it just broke the ears off. Watch. Oh. Oh, it broke the whole the entire rack is detached yeah, from and the, then you yeah. have this knuckle that touches this too. Okay, remember causing okay. a hard stop in that deal. So you want to just yank it a couple times and see what kind of progress we yeah, get? Yeah, we can. Okay. All right, let's push it outside. All right, getting the body shop all fired up. We got this strap to go from the car to this inconveniently parked pickup truck. That strap to go from the back corner of the car to the back of the body shop. And, uh, the body shop's reopened for the next hour. Yeah, it's fired back up. Can it's you get that hooked up for... Uh, I don't know, this thing's a little light back here, dude. All your tires flat truck. for extra grip, so... Almost, almost. We'll blow those tires later. This truck is the fulcrum point, we'll call it. Not sure if that's yeah. the right sign. Yeah, yeah something like that. Something like that. Something like that. So what you go here? What is this? The That's double loop? loop do The loop. Oh, loop de do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what are you doing there? The loop de don't. Not to be confused. The loop de don't. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna. I think that'll work, right? Yeah, that's a look, That looks strong. That's those thick. Look, those look sturdy enough. Yeah. Might like be a that. one popper stopper, but we'll see. I would uh just go right to this uh frame maybe. He was at the control arm, and I was like, that's got a lot of bolts and bushings. Let's go to something <laughs> solidly <laughs> welded. When we hired Zach. I had him strap a car to a trailer, you know, it's just a test. He tied it down by the tie rods. 
It's like that. It's iron rods. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> We've trained him a lot since. Yeah, by not letting him strap down anything. You're almost on your two years now, can huh? You, we're past it, but can you show me how to use a ratchet strap? I forgot. Yeah, I can show you later. <laughs> Are you past two years? Yeah. Holy Sorry. Crap. That's Next your luck, dude. It's ruined. Your, ruined you. Starting date? I think it was around this time. Was it April or May 1st? No, nah, because we moved in July. It was either April or May. I think it was May. It's going to be May. Was it May? Because we in moved in July. His, his first day was helping me come build out. that uh, boat trailer. All right, I got this. Trailer. That's true. Uh, you know, that was was that, that it might have been May. Me neither. Not sure. Sam, you like the body shop? Dude? All I can say is back fired up. It's been fast this is to you. McFarland body shop on the thing, and you guys are do doing well. Now, do I just wanted to stand there. The this is uh, to the wood, dude. You got a measuring tape? At least, dude. Eight. Yeah, we got calibrated yeah, eyeballs. It's like you mean it. Dude, How we, fast was I going when I hit the about wall? About thirty. That's Dude, what we do like Mythbusters. Not fast enough because it's not totaled. Well, if <laughs> so. I hit the wall at thirty mile an hour, we need a thirty mile an hour yank to go backwards, right? Yeah, exactly. Should we hook this new case? I'm not. I'm not. Can we hook that down there? Nope. That's the money spot. All right. All right. Oh. How we looking? Back up and do it again. Pull it one more time. Need another one? Yeah, yeah, back up and do it again. Actually, that actually almost pulled it perfectly back. Man, you better back up. Maybe one out. I mean, get your calibration. Get your calibration. Back up. Back up. <laughs> mm, one more. Well, actually, it's pretty, it's pretty damn straight. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty good. I think this strap's only got one more in her. Yeah. What's the wrinkle looking like? Damn, the wrinkle's that wrinkle's still gone. That, that wrinkle's still there. That one's that still peaked. Yeah, that one's not going anywhere. If you want that one out, we got to strap off the bottom. We'll just pull the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Did they hit? No. <laughs> They're good. Oh, man. You have more than enough room. The crazy thing is... To put in perspective how much has moved, we pushed this car straight out of that door. Straight out of that door, this oh, yeah, car came. Kind of part of the process. Is that how McFarland body works? Dude, look out! Look at the frame rail. Did it bring it out a little bit? I think it looks better. That? Oh yeah. Okay, you're you're done. <laughs> like we throw a radiator in it. Good as new. Does this one even leak? Or is it just twist? It emptied yeah, itself. It, it okay. Did empty. All right, guys, it's another episode here on McFarland Body Shop. We got a big week ahead of us. That's it for now. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.